Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Arina and if you are coming back, I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I am going to do another review lip swatches of the new Key Best Velvet Matte Lip Rouge or the Velvet Matte Lip Mud. So I bought all six shades. In today's video, I'll also be comparing this lip mud with the formula that I am familiar with which is the Four Color Lip Clays. And if you are interested to know how they perform, my thoughts on it and how it looks on my lips, just keep on watching. So let's talk about the packaging, the price and the details. So the packaging came in a box like this with maple leaf print on the top and all the details and everything like that are in Chinese. So you have to Google translate it if you are curious with the ingredients. If you want to be really careful, you can check on the ingredients before you apply it on your lips. So it also comes with a free mini lip brush and you can use this one or you can also use your finger if you want to. So if you want to be more hygienic, I recommend you guys to use the lip brush but honestly I am not familiar or I am not used to using lip brush. I either use the Dofu applicator or I just use my finger but today I am going to try to use the brush because it does comes with it. Like I said, I picked up all the six shades and mostly are on the warmer side and I think one of it is cool tone but we're gonna see how it looks against my lips. I do have very pigmented lips especially on the outer rim. It is currently priced at 5 ringgit and 40 cent. But okay, I did take off the previous lip color and this is my actual lip color. I didn't put any foundation on top of it yet. I will if I need to if the lip product uh, stain my lips. So I'm gonna read some of the claims from the website or from the Shopee shop. It says that it is number one, a touch of smoothness, rich color development. It has a dense, soft, waxy texture like a mousse with a full body color. Smooth, non-sticky and feels comfortable all day long. The second um, claim is that it is damp but not dry. It will cover the lip lines. So I am assuming that it will give you a like a blur out effect which what I like about the lip clay. Also from the website it recommends you guys to store this in dry places. So this is what the actual component looks like or the top looks like. It's very cute and small. It looks like a lip scrub. So let's open it. So it looks like inside. Okay this is the first color 01 white peach and actually it smelled really really nice. It smelled like chalky chalky if you are Asian and you love chocolate. I think you're familiar with that one. It smells chocolatey a sweet chocolate scent. And I'm gonna apply this color on my lips right now. I'm gonna use the brush. So right when the brush touches the product, it feels bouncy and soft. Okay, this is what the first color looks like. The texture feels really similar with the lip clay. Except this one is in a jar. That one is in a tube. Which is 01 white peach looks on my lips. I will insert a picture with the model. You can compare my lips with the model lips. I think the model has light skin tone. And also her lips are less pigmented. That is just my assumption. I think this is on the lighter tone. It does look very pigmented on my lips. And it covered most of my lip pigmentation. Which is nice. Right now it feels very nice and comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. I think it has a semi matte finish where it feels matte but if you press your lips together really hard it do slip and slide just a little bit but it doesn't bother me at all. So at the end of this video I will compare these colors all of this color with the overlapping color from the four color lip clay. Okay let's move on to the next shade which is 01 dusk and the texture feels the same. It does really stick onto the brush. So this is the second shade which is dusk. As you can tell, it is slightly on the brighter side but it's actually really nice. It still have that blurred effect. I think this blurred effect is a Korean uh, makeup trend and I really do enjoy this type of finish. On the model also looks bright and it's true to the swatch from the website. It's like an orangey, red orangey tone. Actually, it's very forgiving because it has that blurred effect. It is not too striking. And this is the second shade which is 02 Dusk. Okay, this is the third shade which is Pink Brown. 
This is actually like uh, my lips but better kind of shade. Okay, I did add more product and uh, build up the pigmentation and it looks more orangey should I say. Like it has that brown tone but it's not pinky actually. It's like a warm brown tone but I like it. I can use this on the daily and I don't think it's too much or too made up. Okay, this is the shade pink brown and this is how it looks like on my lips. And I think it's not an MLBB shade for me because teeny tiny bit bright and on the orangey side instead of a like more pinkier side. And this is again in the shade pink brown 03. Okay, the next shade is 04 black tea. This is like my top 3 color. So yeah, this is again in the shade 04 black tea. Okay, okay, this is the color 05 sweet pepper and as you can tell it's a red undertone uh, lip color and it's it suits the name it's a pepper color. It's actually will look very beautiful if you do like an ombre lip look which I will do in a moment. Um, so far, the pigmentation is even for the five shades. Uh, they have really nice pigmentation. It applies evenly on the lips. There's no patchiness and it gives you that blurred cloudy effect which I really like. And this is again in the shade 05. If you have a darker skin tone than me, this shade will look very very beautiful on you. And if you wear a very simple eye look with just a black lip liner, this will look so classy and spicy should I say. But it's very very beautiful. I think there's major difference between how I concentrate the product like previously and how I blur it out like this to achieve ombre look and actually I prefer to use this formula to do ombre look because it's really really easy I just use the brush and just spread out the product on the outer perimeter of my lips and yeah this is how it looks like you can either achieve a bold lip color using the same shade or a sweet or soft blurred lip color like this Okay, the last lip shade is 06 Golden Golden Carb and from the top it looks very bright and let's see how it looks like inside. If you just judge it from the top, directly from the top, they all look very similar but you can see the difference once you apply it on the lips. It actually doesn't really look as bright as I thought it would be. Okay, before I apply it all over my lips, this is how the shade 06 Golden Carb looks on my lips and I really like uh, and adore this ombre looking lip color and either a salmon or a coral shade because it has that slight pinkish undertone and this is how it looks like applied full lips or full pigmentation on my lips and it's it's where it's a wearable lip shade it's very beautiful and pretty I can't see more good things enough good things about this product and yeah this is again in the in the shade 06 golden car surprisingly from my experience today i feel like the key best formula is slightly better than the focal lip clay doesn't mean that the lip clay formula is bad but the, some of the pigmentation from the lip clay is slightly streaky but i don't mind that because i love the formula and the key best so far applied evenly on the lips and cover up my lip pigmentation but i still will use the lip clay i love the lip clay so much the um, positive points from the lip clay is that it has ap an applicator whereas the key best one you have to pick up a brush or your finger but I find that using a brush is actually really helpful to like apply the product evenly on the lips and also spread the product easily. For the comparison, I think I only found one, I would say like 90% similar tones which is the shade 01 from Keybest and the shade 202 from Focalor Lip Clay. They have the similar tone and also similar shade but they are not exactly the same. For other shades, I don't find the exact dupe but I think if you apply on the lips, they will look similar and you can't really tell the difference between them. Okay, this is what the shades looks like swatched at the back of my hand. The first shade is 01, 02, 03, 04, 05 and 06. 
if you look it like up close you can tell that the shade 02 the 3 and 04 there's an overlapping tones between them especially the shade 03 and 04 yeah but overall they are warm tone except for the shade 01 up here the first shade And for the chocolatey scent, it will eventually fade away. Like right after application, I can't really smell any scent, which I really appreciate because previously I did try the Key Best Cream Blush and I really dislike the scent because it's very, very strong. This one has the same or similar scent with the liquid as well. I think they really try to duplicate the um, formula basically. When you first apply your, the lip product on your lips, you will experience like a bit of clumpiness, especially the shade 05, the deep, like deep plummy shades. But you can just uh, smooth out the clumps by spreading it with the brush or your finger. That also uh, happens with some of the clay shades. I think uh, that is normal with Moussey lip product. I did wear this color for around 20 minutes now and it doesn't really dry down to matte but you will have the advantage of a matte lipstick a matte lip product which is it looks matte it doesn't look shiny and it does have a little bit of transfer but i think it will fade away beautifully it will and that completes today's video thank you so much for watching until the end all the makeup products that i use for my face today i will link and also list in the description box below if you find this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because i do a lot of makeup tutorial reviews and hauls and thank you so much for watching take care and i hope i see you guys in my next one bye assalamualaikum